McAfee Endpoint Security provides application containment that protects endpoints from malicious behaviors by potentially dangerous applications. We'll take a closer look at application containment in this video. What application containment does is use a set of rules to limit the ability of applications with poor or unknown reputations to make changes on the endpoint. This will protect systems from malicious payloads such as ransomware by preventing the destructive behavior even without requiring a complete conviction. Application containment contains a set of behaviors seen as potentially malicious that was developed by McAfee Labs. If the questionable application doesn't perform these potentially damaging behaviors, it can continue to run without any issues. But if the application attempts to break these rules, then it will be contained and those actions will be stopped. Application containment also uses threat intelligence from McAfee and other sources to calculate the reputation of a file, so it can still allow known good files to execute without any impact while only containing potentially malicious applications. It can also apply its intelligence to block malicious behaviors even without requiring a network connection. This allows for offline systems to still be protected. These rules are customizable and can protect systems from attack even without compromising business continuity. Okay, great. That wraps up the intro, so let's take a look at it in action. First, here's an unprotected system that holds the answer to the ultimate question in the documents directory. Keep in mind that it's 42. Now I'm just going to go ahead and run a new sample of the WannaCry ransomware on the desktop. I can see within seconds that the background has changed and a ransom demand screen now appears. When I go to open my file that previously contained 42, I can now see that it's fully encrypted. Next, I'm going to try the same thing on a system that is protected by McAfee Endpoint Security with application containment. In the documents directory of this system, I have the same file with the ultimate answer. Now, I'm just going to run my WannaCry variant. After the WannaCry sample runs, when I go to the McAfee logs, I can see the event and the behaviors that were blocked by application containment. For example, here the behavior that was blocked was reading files commonly targeted by ransomware class malware. Next, I'm going to take the system offline by going to the network control panel and disabling the network adapter. So even though now the system is offline and has no network capabilities, it is still protected by application containment. I'm just going to go ahead and run the WannaCry variant again and we can see a new batch of application containment events. This again shows the behaviors that were blocked. Finally, when I go and open my file with the answer to the ultimate question, we can see that the data is still safe. As we have seen, endpoints are protected from damaging behaviors posed by unknown threats with McAfee endpoint security and application containment.